Hello everyone, Dragon's Breath Films here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on GIMP. Today we're going to be doing the Chrome effect. This is a relatively simple effect to do. It is influenced, however, on how artistic you are naturally. I'm not very artistic, so as you can see, my GIMP text effect does look pretty good, but the amount of realism in it isn't that great. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, what we'll be doing today is building it from a white text. I made my text size 350. I used the sans font, and then I made it bold. So, I made it all white to start out, and it does not matter what your background is for now, because we will be changing that later. So, to get started, we're going to duplicate our text layer. Oops, we're not going to delete it. Don't do what I did, guys. We are going to duplicate our text layer. Now, the reason we're duplicating our text layer, it is not necessary, but the reason we are doing this is just in case you always duplicate, you always have an extra copy, just in case something happens to go wrong, you don't lose your work. So, we're going to start out by alpha to selection, sorry, we're going to go alpha to selection, select, shrink, and we're going to shrink by two. Hit OK. And now, you're going to select white, sorry, not white, light gray. I've filmed this thing like four times because I keep on making mistakes. And I've said white every single time, guys. So you're going to click right, light gray, and click your brush. Around size 30 tends to work well. Yeah, just like that. And you're just going to kind of make some marks on your, on your thing. Now, the mark areas, you'll understand where, why I'm making them in certain places later, later, but I really don't know what I'm doing when I do this, because I'm not very artistic, so if you can come up with a better idea of where to put the colors, then please let me know down in the comment section. I'm just putting them in random places, hoping it turns out good, when well, I really know nothing about metal. So, let's see, we've almost got our first color done, and there, uh, I'll do some more on the P, let me see, I'm going to do something like that, and like that, and there. Alright, so now, we're going to switch to a darker color. Oops. Just like, let's see, this one will do, and it doesn't have to be perfect, whatever colors you work, you choose, this should work fine. Let's see, I'm going to put some here, and I'm going to put some there, and then I'm going to bring some up there, and put some there, and then a bit there, and there, and there. So, as you can see, this looks really silly. It looks like I'm just scribbling on the word, but hold on, it'll start to look normal soon. So... I got this tutorial idea from another YouTube channel. I cannot remember the name or anything about it right now for some reason. But I do have the link, so I will be putting that up at the end of the video. And you can click on it and check out his channel. He's got some pretty cool stuff. Um, I really enjoyed it. He actually he used this effect on a Batman logo he made. Instead of using it on text like I'm doing. So... With this black, you've got to be very careful with your black that you're not putting too much on. Too much on the text will ruin the effect of the black, so use it kind of sparingly. I'm going to try putting the majority of it on the left side of the text, just like this. Notice how much of it is touching the right. I may put a tiny bit that touches right there, and put some here, and get a bit there, and maybe some here. And yeah, so that should be good. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to select, and I'm going to shrink this by 5, just like that. Now I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm actually going to switch it to the pencil just to make it easier on me. And I'm going to grow this. This pencil makes no matter what brush you have, it makes a straight line like that. So I'm going to grow the brush size to about... 200 will do. 
and I'm going to since I don't I don't like filling things in, I like just coloring. So I'm gonna just color this in. And now you can see there's our chrome effect. Now chrome effect on um the metal chrome effect on white looks very bad. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna select and shrink this by one just to get the refraction the light refraction in there and make it look more realistic. That's why we added in that tiny tiny bit of white. And now we're gonna paint the rest of the text black, just like that. And the white also kinda helps it it gives it almost like it's it's got a 3D shape to it. It's not just flat. So now we're going to go select none, and we're going to work on our background. So what I did for our background is I took a linear gradient, and I did really dark gray to not so really dark gray. Okay, and now I'm just going to drag down like this. And there we go. That's the finished effect. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more tutorials like this, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you have suggestions for tu tutorials, or if you'd like me to do speed art and other such tutorials, please let me know. I'm going to eventually do some Inkscape tutorials as well, and some hit film tutorials, which is basically, it's, a, it's an editing software similar to Adobe After Effects. So any effects I teach in hit film, you can bring over to Adobe After Effects and duplicate. I may also do some Adobe After Effects tutorials if I end up getting Adobe After Effects. So, if you want to watch my previous video, please click here. The link will now be appearing. If you want to subscribe, please click, click here. And if you want to view the other guy's channel I was telling you about earlier in the video, please click here. Thank you for watching. Please remember to smash that like button, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.